Hidden far away in the snowy tundra, you can find the Arctic Wolf, a majestic and highly intelligent being. Well, most of them. This Arctic Wolf is one who goes by the name Wolfie. She is kind of small and ditzy, but she's also very bubbly and outgoing. For as long as she could remember, she was alone and had no one to depend on but herself. Such is the fate of her kind. A lone wolf. Don't feel bad though, she's able to keep herself entertained. It was a quiet life. Until one day... She awoke one morning to the smell of smoke. Curious, she followed its direction to see what it was. When she reached its source, she found these strange creatures sitting around a fire. They were humans. She watched from afar as they talked to one another, telling stories and making each other laugh. Wolfie had never seen a scene like this before. She wondered what it must be like to live in a pack like this. She found herself becoming more and more interested in these creatures as the days passed. One day, she saw one of them sitting much further away from the others. They were crying. She watched quietly as another person walked over to them. Wolfie had never seen an interaction like this before. Even after the people had left the snowy tundra, she was left still wondering how they were able to connect like that. For the first time, she started thinking that maybe it would be nice to be around others like them. With her mind made up, she decided that it was time to leave behind her days in the snow. It was time for her to start her own journey. She wanted to find and live alongside humans. She found a place to settle down in that was very populated by humans. Not another wolf in sight. It was hard at first, but as years passed, she found herself trying new things, finding her passion in life, and even forming bonds of people. A wolf living alongside humans definitely was a funny sight, so many people from all over came to see her. And Wolfie discovered that she really enjoyed sharing her passion with them all. Though she was shy at first, she had finally found what she'd been looking for. She was happier than she'd ever been. Then one night, she was visited by an ethereal being. A mystical wolf spirit. The spirit knew all about her adventures. It gazed upon her and asked, Is this the path you have chosen? Oh. <laughs> Then you have made your choice, the spirit answered. It then surrounded Wolfie in a bright light, its blessing being bestowed upon her. And so, her newest chapter begins. Changes are something that we're all constantly going through. Some changes are so gradual that you don't even realize that they're happening. But then some changes are so big and so sudden that at first they can be really hard to get used to. Like moving to a new house or starting a new school. I remember starting high school was really scary for me. I was going from a happy primary school which was colorful and covered in art to this cold and gray building which honestly felt like a prison. Starting high school with my old best friend friends actually didn't make it easier either. We ended up drifting apart pretty quickly since their interests just totally changed. And instead of wanting to play games together at lunchtime like we always did, they were more interested in just talking about makeup and teenage vampire boys. And that was the same with the rest of my classmates too. And people were starting to get really judgy when you didn't like the same things as them too. Of course, like every other teenager, I just wanted to fit in. So I ended up feeling pressured into to liking the same things that they did. I tried makeup for the first time. I remember my friend helping me put it on and I was complaining a lot because I thought that the mascara and the eyeliner just felt really cold on my eyes. I know it sounds like such a weird complaint. I tried really hard to like the same kind of music as my classmates too. It sounds silly, but I was always stressed back then trying to figure out which songs my classmates liked. I still just wanted to sing high school musical songs 
else together. There were some more really hard changes that I had to go through in high school, but I kind of want to save them for future videos, so I won't go into them today. The one thing in your school years that's harder than starting high school is finishing high school. By the time you reach the end of high school, you're expected to know what you want to do in the future and have your whole life figured out, which I still think is unreasonable. For the most part, you're either gonna go to college or you're gonna get straight to looking for a job. This was also a really hard time because everyone that I knew had moved away for college and I kind of felt the pressure that I should be in college too, but I didn't know what I would be doing there. Anytime those friends came back to visit as well, I would kind of feel like I was speaking to a different person each time. They were slowly changing in college, making new friends, getting into relationships, and I just felt like I didn't really know them anymore. I'm sure that I was changing too, but you don't really notice when it's you, I guess because you're with yourself every day. And of course I can't leave out the biggest change that I've been through, which was moving to another country. This wasn't the first time that I've moved to a different country. Country, but the first time that I did it, I was really too young to understand what was happening. Packing up and moving as an adult is a very different story, and I don't think I could have made a bigger move than that. It was already hard enough just traveling alone. I packed everything that I could fit into two suitcases, which I had to lug around three different airports. And yes, I did also have a mountain of paperwork to get through as well. Once I got here, I needed to get used to the ways of a new country, which I don't think took too long. It was weird at first going outside and hearing everybody around me speaking English. The slang was something that I had to learn as well. And of course the fact that there is a giant scary and poisonous animal waiting around every single corner that could jump out and attack you with no warning. Okay, that's obviously not true. Kangaroos can be dangerous though, but they're so cute, I love them. One of the problems that I had at the start was when I got my first job here, which was in a supermarket. It was an okay job, the manager was kind of mean, but I got free food. Anyway, one of the difficulties that I had was I was working the cash register and there are a lot of items that don't have barcodes on them, so you have to search for them manually. And I would find that there are some items that I just didn't know the English name for. So I would have to ask the customer, um, what's this? They must have been so confused. And then of course, once my YouTube channel started taking off, that became my full-time job, which was another huge change, but a very happy one. And now, my latest change is of course, I got shoes now. Okay, it's a full redesign. I really wanted to freshen things up a bit on the channel, and I hope that you guys like this new look. I will say, for those of you who like the old design, you don't have to worry. It will still be around too. Please be sure to subscribe if you want more story times from me. I have a lot more coming up soon that I'm excited to share. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!